This is a Newton's Cradle. You've probably seen one before on somebody's desk or in a novelty store. Here's two balls at once. Here's where it gets really interesting. Three balls at once. What you're seeing here is the transfer of momentum from one ball to the other, to the other, to the other at the end. It's called the conservation of momentum. The first ball transfers its kinetic energy through the second, third, fourth, and then to the fifth comes up the other end, and then that transfers that back to the first one. When you do two at once, one and two end up transferring it to four and five, which swing up, and transfer it back through three to one and two. Now, one, two, and three transfer that to three, four, and five. So the middle one stays perpetually in motion. Next, I'm going to demonstrate the Newton's Cradle underwater. You can see this in a bit more slowly happening is so that momentum is being transferred through the water. But this doesn't work quite as well because it has to travel through water. You can tell this is a cheap Newton's cradle. I needed to get one that would fit inside of a small tank of water. This effect would be much more visible with a more high quality Newton's cradle that doesn't float and have to be held down. Still, this is pretty cool. It's like being able to watch a Newton's Cradle in slow motion, but in real time. Let's try it with two balls underwater. And three. Thanks for watching as always and be sure to stay tuned for more science videos.